hello friends welcome to laravel mongodb tutorial once again and in this video we are going to install the latest laravel version or you can install the laravel 10 or laravel 11 version that is the latest version and after that uh, we are going to connect the our laravel project with the mongodb okay we are going to create the database as well in mongodb and we'll connect it with the laravel project so first of all make sure that you have installed the zap or web server the steps we have already i have shown you in the last video and make sure that you have installed the composer as well so that you can able to create the laravel project so finally uh, this is the command that you are required to give for the laravel project we are going to create the simple laravel project so let's install the laravel uh, in our uh, i'm going to open our uh, folder once again that zap folder uh, here it is then sc docs I am going to create the new project here. I am going to open internal. I can use open internal here and we'll give the command here. This one uh, composer create project Laravel. Uh, and here I am going to give the name like test MongoDB. Okay, so I'm going to give my project name as test hyphen MongoDB. Okay, so this is my project name, or you can say the folder name. Okay, so I will install. Uh, uh, laravel 10 okay so this is the command and you can see the laravel 10 has been started uh, see it will be laravel 11 as well the same step you are required to take for the laravel 11 as well okay so it's going to install the latest version of laravel okay so uh, it's 10 right now but in few days laravel 11 gets launched and then you can able to install the laravel 11 as well and that will also work with the mongodb in the same way like laravel 10 is is will work okay so let's wait for a few minutes So you can see the Laravel has been installed. Okay, so uh, now we can go inside our folder, our Laravel folder. Uh, it's uh, uh, test MongoDB, uh, CD test MongoDB. Uh, we are going inside our folder, Laravel folder. Yes, uh, we are here now. And now uh, uh, that is fine. Uh, but we uh, will install. Uh, see, before proceeding further, we are required to install. Uh, one package uh, for Laravel. I'm going to uh, here search like uh, install uh, MongoDB package for Laravel. So this one is the package. Uh, I'm going to open uh, this MongoDB link for installing this package. It will provide the package. You can open this link. I have given this link in the video description as well so that you can open and you can open this link. Okay, so I have provided all the instructions, step by step instructions. You are just required to follow those instructions. Okay. So here, all these steps we have already done. Now this one, we are required to install the long, uh, Laravel MongoDB package. So this is the package that I will just copy and will paste here and will install this package. Okay. So just you are required to install this package, package by going inside your project folder, Laravel project folder. Just you are required, are required to uh, install this package as well. Okay. So it will take few minutes. Oh, 
okay so it has been done uh, almost it has been done okay fine uh, now uh, now we are going to open our project in sublime and this is my project folder this is just modb i'm going to open in sublime okay i'm going to check that whether this sublime is there uh, no it's not there i think we must install the sublime as well so this is one of the best editor that i use install sublime so let's straight away install sublime uh, we can install the latest version of sublime and uh, i'm going to install for windows okay windows 60 bit uh, for bit so this one Windows 64 bit is the latest version of Sublime then that I can install so it will just take uh, a few seconds because uh, it is not that much heavy it is very fast so we can install Sublime okay so now I can install it so it has been installed now I'm going to open the Sublime here for sublime and I'm going to open this sublime so here uh, let's just uh, cancel this one and uh, here I will just uh, uh, bring this project here okay so I'm going to update now data here uh, database.php file that is located inside We are going to search for database.php file here it is database.php and here i'm going to open that link once again and search mongodb go down and here you can see the uh, this one we are required to update in config database.php i'm going to copy this one and I'm going to paste in this file right at the bottom after this one SQL Server. I'm going to paste this one as well. Okay. Fine. So the command once again and uh, see now I'm going to run the PHP artisan magnet command once again and uh, still it is showing that this one. Uh, so yeah, close this one is not required. Uh, close this one and now just open this one and here uh, just uh, we are required to make sure that uh, oh, okay so file save now it must work fine so let's see now uh php addison migrate so finally it has been done uh, now we are going to see uh, in the uh, here i'm going to close this one and we'll open the compass once again so db compass okay i'm going to open the uh, we will uh, now refresh it and here you can see all the tables have come up okay jobs migrations password reset token personal access token users table so all the tables have come up and we can now remove the test table that we don't require now okay we can remove this one this collection drop collection just required to add the test and drop collection and now uh, only the uh, only the tables that we are we are required uh, that we have created with the php artisan migrate command the default tables of laravel okay and the main table is that is the users table that we are going to use in the further videos uh, uh, for adding the data here, here in the mongodb via laravel okay from our laravel project so in next video we are going to start working on our laravel project and going to register user from our laravel, laravel project and we'll save the data here in the mongodb okay so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye